So Red Lake is a great early ice destination. I guided up there for a few years, had great success up there. I live on Mille Lacs, I've lived down here for 15 years, worked down here for 15 years. It is a great early ice destination. So what we see is everyone flocks to Red because it freezes first and it usually has safe foot traffic. Guys go out there, the bite's usually ridiculous as long as the water or the ice freezes and the water is relatively clear, guys usually smash them pretty good. But just as Mille Lacs is usually three to four weeks behind getting out fishing and when Mille Lacs freezes, just like it is here, it has a tremendous early season bite. Guys talk about catching 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 fish on Upper Red Lake, but what they don't realize is that you can cash in on several bite windows in the state of Minnesota if you just watch the ice form. Red, obviously, usually Thanksgiving time, first week in December. Mille Lacs, first week in December usually, and our early ice bite on Mille Lacs can go really, really strong into the second and third week in January. So our bite here usually lasts longer, and there's so much structure out here. If you want to fish at night after you get off of work and get off the break line at 13, 14, 15 feet, don't pre-fish, don't do anything, pick a break, the fish will come through. You're gonna catch fish. Late season, if you wanna grab a resort road and go out to a mud flat, find a spot by yourself just on the edge or on the top of the flat, you're gonna catch some fish. If you're the guy like me who is working and putting clients on fish, you can drill down the edge of a mud flat. Find fish, put your customers on them. There's just tons and tons of options for Mille Lacs. If you like fishing rock, you can fish rock. If you like fishing mud, you can fish mud, sand, gravel. It's got everything. The other cool part is, let's say you want to go in for lunch. Simply jump on a resort road, head in, grab a burger, and head back out. It has everything around that you need. Bait, food, gas, propane, plowed roads, resorters that are checking, bridging, everything out there. So the, the infrastructure on Mille Lacs is substantially better than it is on Red. Not that Red is bad by any means. You can get that all up there. There's just less of it. So Mille Lacs is also one of those lakes where a lot of different presentations work. If you're a guy that likes to come out with his family and throw out six, eight tip-ups, you can do that and you will have success. If you're the guy that likes to drill a lot of holes, find fish, be active, you can do that. Three main factors to coming out on Mille Lacs on early ice and being successful. One, have your set lines. Two, remain mobile. Three, if there's no fish, if you drill 10 holes and you don't mark a fish, move. That, that is a blanket rule that goes for every lake. But those three factors, you will catch fish. The other one, if I'm gonna add a fourth to it, because I gotta, have shiners and suckers with you for your set lines. You will notice a preference between mud, rock, and gravel between suckers and shiners. Early season lures for me, always the jig and wrap. Jig and wrap number five all the way up to nine. Um, early mornings and towards evening, that is a superb bait. Rip and wrap in a number five is also a superb bait. And then during the day, during, you know, like it is now, I've got tingler spoons and tumbler spoons tied on because they have that nice roll, nice flash, nice wa wide wobble. And those I just tip with a minnow head. So those are basically my go-to baits. I mean, if we go in my box right, right now, you'll see I've got my Mlax box. It's full of all three sizes of Tingler, Tumbler spoons, and VMC rattle spoons. And those three baits, along with jigging wraps and ripping wraps, is about all you need to consistently catch fish on Mille Lacs.